The MK party has voiced its disappointment over a recent ruling by the Gauteng South High Court, which allows the Judicial Services Commission interview to proceed without the participation of Dr. John Klaupe. The judgment was delivered on Saturday after the Democratic Alliance, Corruption Watch and Freedom Under Law successfully sought to bar Klaupe from being involved in the upcoming JC proceedings. These organizations had approached the Western Cape High Court earlier, arguing that Klaupe, who was impeached in February for gross misconduct, should not be part of the body responsible for appointing judges and handling complaints against judicial officers. The MK party had made an urgent application to challenge the JSC's decision to go ahead with the interviews, but Judge Stuart Wilson dismissed their case, ruling that there was no irrationality in the decision to exclude Klaupe from the process. The judge ordered each party to cover its own legal costs. Despite this setback, the MK party expressed appreciation for how the proceedings were conducted, contrasting Judge Wilson's approach with what they perceive as a trend of bias within the South African judiciary. Nsamu Lonlela, spokesperson for the MK party, stated that they are studying the ruling and engaging in legal consultations. He expressed concern that the appointments made in the upcoming interviews scheduled to take place in Santon could be mired in controversy due to the exclusion of Thorpe. Ndlela believes that delaying the interviews until the legal matters were resolved would have been a more prudent course of action. While acknowledging their strong disagreement with the ruling, Ndlela commended the judge's impartiality, calling it a breath of fresh air, in contrast to the alleged judicial partisanship the MK party claims to have encountered in the past. Ndlela went on to note that the Western Cape High Court has set November 1st as the date to hear the case between Flope, the DA, FUL and the Corruption Watch, signaling that the legal battle is far from over. The MK party remains steadfast in its belief that the judgment excluding Flope is riddled with legal errors and pose a significant threat to the principle of separation of powers. They argue that the judiciary should refrain from intervening in matters that have been democratically decided by elected representatives, such as those involving the powers and privileges of the National Assembly. Despite their objections, the JSC interviews will proceed without Shorpe starting on Monday.